Good morning, everybody. Everything doing at the sun. I got my coffee this morning, and uh, I'm reading the news, and um, uh, so much has piled up uh, that I haven't uh, been able to cover, and uh, just been uh, so busy, and uh, excuses, excuses, right? But Bible prophecy keeps trucking along, and uh, you know what? As I said before, this, this may be the last uh, summer um, that you have to enjoy with your family and friends, and and uh, so uh, I've had my uh, father over. And uh, he's been uh, um, having good fun with the with the grandkids, and um, uh, we've just been having a bit of a vacation time. I've been on and off work, I've taken a, a day here, a day there, uh, but Bible prophecy never ends, uh, never stops uh, going, things never stop proceeding. And uh, I do think we're getting very close to that seven year period. And if we are getting close to that seven year period, it would. Um, suggest that an Antichrist figure was ready uh, to create a peace deal. <clears throat> it would suggest that the Third Temple is near. It would suggest that the Tribulation seals are going to be broken. So the Revelation 6 seals that are uh, pre-wrath, that are not the wrath of God. The wrath of God starts at the, the middle of the uh, seven-year period um, after the rapture of the church. We are not here for God's uh, uh, wrath. Uh, our sins have been paid for if you're uh, a child of God. If you've asked forgiveness for your sins and uh, you, you've got salvation through Jesus Christ, you're not going to be here for the wrath. And so we're going to be raptured out just before the wrath. But before um, uh, the rapture, before the wrath, is uh, this three and a half year period where uh, there's seals, there's famine, pestilence, uh, wars, rumors of wars, all things escalated. Now you look at the global situation right now, the whole global health issue, and boy, it certainly looks like pestilence may be ramping up, right? Well, the other thing that's ramping up is war, and you would expect this. I expect there to be a significant Israeli war um, prior to the maybe even the revealing of uh, the Antichrist. Um, at least prior to the the Antichrist coming onto the stage, because he's going to um, um, have a peace deal ready to go, and he's going to say, "You know what? If if you guys stop your fighting, <clears throat> um, you can build your third temple, and we're going to have peace, peace in the world." And I think that comes up soon. So, as I've said before, if uh, if this fall period is the beginning of that seven-year period, um, then there would be a big war coming. Uh, I think there's going to be a big war before the seven-year period. And so I have down there Isaiah 17, destruction of Damascus, uh, where Damascus becomes a ruinous heap. And Ezekiel 38 uh, and 39, the war of Gog and Magog, and that's a dual fulfillment war, uh, but where there's a battle against Iran, uh, uh, Turkey, uh, Russia, and that's building. What comes before the beginning of the seven-year period? Well, societal collapse, civil unrest, uh, the Antichrist, and the peace deal. So some significant war has to happen in the Middle East, enough um, to where the world gets together and says, that's it, that's it, we're going to we're gonna create peace, we're going to, um, an Antichrist figure is going to come on uh, on the stage, he's going to convince Israelis and the world um, to have uh, some peace. And the carrot on the stick is going to be the third temple for uh, the Jewish people, for Israel. And that's exactly what I think is happening. Now, in terms of uh, this diagram, I think I can move uh, this along here uh, because we're getting close now. Uh, it is August as of uh, when I'm doing this. We're getting close now to uh, the end of that period. And uh, so let's take a look at some articles which I think illustrate uh, what I'm uh, speaking of. Let's mute this. Um, the first thing I want to say is, uh, this one is interesting. Uh, this is from Israel365news.com. Israeli rabbi reveals date of Messiah's arrival. Now, I'm always interested in uh, in, in these these predictions to so see if they come true or not. Um, in a recent inter interview, re renowned Israeli rabbi Daniel Assor warned of a globalist takeover happening as we speak, if Hitler is a third Reich, then the New World Order is the fourth Reich. Uh, uh, based on the Kabbalah teachings written uh, by Italian Jewish rabbi and Dr. Rabbi Moshe David Valley, uh, who was a student and confidant of the prominent Jewish Kabbalist, the dates that the Messiah, uh, uh, Rabbi Esau, reveals the dates that Messiah will reveal himself. We are very, very close to redemption. So it's interesting, as, as we get closer, these uh, predictions seem to ramp up, and we've seen uh, more uh, of them lately. So what are they predict predicting? Well, warning of a one-world government uh, uh, ruling the world. The rabbi cautions that in the Hebrew calendar year, uh, September 2020 to September 2021, from Tevet, June, uh, January to February, until Elul, August, uh, September, 
those there those will be nine months where the new world order rules okay so the new world order rules is that government lockdown and and, and the who uh, really uh, dictating what the world is doing related to the, uh, the 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 latest crisis well in the following year september 21 to september 2022 a year of yovel jubilee on yom kippur 2020 2021 the messiah will reveal himself and then what disappear interesting the rabbi explained yom kippur 2021 falls on the night of September 15th until nightfall. So they think at the end of this year, at least according to this prediction, that there will be a Messiah who will reveal himself. Will this be the Antichrist figure? I suspect that the Jews, in fact, who they are talking about, because this is not biblical, who they are talking about it ends up, in fact, being the Antichrist, which they realize at, at one point at the middle of the uh, tribula uh, seven-year period, or the, the greater tribulation, the great the, the tribulation and the great tribulation, which is the first three and a half years and the last three and a half years, uh, at the midpoint of that, they realized, oh, the person we thought was, was Messiah was not, uh, because they worshipped the Antichrist as Messiah, not realizing he is not. But because he allows them to build their third temple, they're going to think he is the Messiah for a short time. So the uh, suggestion here is that uh, the Messiah will uh, emerge. End of this year, the rabbi then sources the Talmud, revealing that the end of the Jubilee year, the Messiah will reemerge again, Yom Kippur 2022, which falls... On October 4 to 5. So again, high watch period again. As always, will the Messiah reappear? I don't think Jesus Christ will uh, uh, come. He's going to come at that midpoint of the tribulation, rapture of the church, and, uh, and, the, and the wrath of God uh, is going to uh, come down for three and a half years, the great tribulation. Well, <clears throat> along with that idea that... Uh, there is likely to be a lot of war, and I think there has to be a lot of war uh, for the situation to be set up correctly so that the Antichrist can come in and offer the Jews a third temple and create some peace in the world, uh, and not long-lasting, but the, he, the Antichrist will create some sort of peace, and everybody will think he is a great person and will sign up and will worship him and will take the mark of the beast. Um, and uh, so I think there's a war coming uh, very shortly. And there's some news uh, um, toward that end. Uh, let's see. Let's get rid of this. Uh, this is from IsraelNationalNews.com. Uh, Tensions in the Middle East escalate after Iranian terror at sea. So Iran attacked an Israeli oil tanker. Um, uh, United States, uh, I think it was destroyers, uh, a destroyer and another ship came and um, um, took this uh, ship home. Um Let's see, that's not what I want. Um, Israel conducts biggest airstrikes on Lebanon since 2006, so major stuff is happening. A rare a rare major cross-border exchange of fire between Israel and militants in Lebanon has flared up Wednesday <clears throat> into Thursday after three rockets were initially launched from South Lebanon. Um, the IDF later indicated that it blanketed the target zone with over 100 artillery strikes. <clears throat> now, it's interesting about... Uh, uh, not Lebanon, but Syria specifically, is that with Bennett uh, being in government in Israel, uh, the uh, the suggestion by uh, uh, Putin, Vladimir Putin of Russia, is that uh, no longer can Bennett, as the new leader of Israel, um, send his troops into Syria, uh, or aircraft at least, uh, without retaliation. There was a deal between Netanyahu and Putin uh, to uh, look past the airstrikes, to not do anything about them, but Putin has come out and said there's no such deal with Bennett, so if, if Israel goes into Syria... Uh, we very well might attack. Interesting. Russia again, Black Sea turning into zone of dangerous military confrontation. Russian Foreign Ministry uh, says, uh, and there's, I think the UK was in uh, the Black Sea with some ships. Russia didn't like that. Black Sea is turning into a zone of dangerous military confrontation. Uh, this was the diplomat's answer to a question of how NATO exercises affect the security in the region, it's quite obvious that this kind of training provokes and does not prevent conflict situations. According to him, Russia will continue to take measures to ensure national security. Russia doesn't like that NATO, uh, U.S. ships, U.K. ships are getting close to its borders in the Black Sea and conducting drills. And, and so Russia is being, uh, you know, the bear is being poked in the eye, uh, if you will. Uh, just this one quickly. Of course, this is the, the latest big scare. Um Worse than Delta, uh, Lambda is now coming out, and it's apparently uh, even worse 
and Delta, uh, and more resistant to vaccines. So look for, for boosters and all that sort of thing. But uh, this is what Fauci said. This is the latest scare. You would expect this to ramp up as well. Uh, if if we are that close to the seven-year period, then there's going to be pestilences that are going to be ramping up. <clears throat> and I think uh, this is going to be really the uh, part of the end-time narrative. Not only narrative, but uh, actual situation. I think there's going to be more and different uh, bugs and, and various uh, pestilences that will come out and bother us. Uh, just as one example, it's been so hot where I am, uh, there's earwigs. And it, we've had earwigs, usually it's maybe for a week period or something, uh, but they've been going for months now where we've had just earwigs, earwigs coming into the house. This is just one example uh, of uh, a sort of pestilence and, and insects and all sorts of things uh, bothering us, which never used to bother us. And this will increase as we head into the last days. And so... Will it really kick off uh, after the seven-year period starts? Yes, I think it will. It will ramp up. We're seeing the waves, the birth pains. Remember, it goes up and it goes down. Uh, there's trouble and then there's a little bit less trouble. And then there's even more trouble and, the, uh, and it's less trouble. So the waves. And uh, look at the stock market as well. Record highs in the stock market, uh, which obviously is unsustainable. It looks exactly like 1929, uh, just before um, the 1929 uh, Great Depression. All right. <clears throat> Um, back to uh, war news, timesofisrael.com. Iran has how many? 10 weeks away. Uh, are they? Iran is 10 weeks away from amassing enough weapons-grade material for nuke. Defense minister tells UNSC members that the time has come for tangible actions, including a military against uh, Tehran as hardline president comes into office. So again, there's a, there's a timeline. Uh, expect a, uh, you know a cyber attack, a physical attack. Something's going to happen. Israel's going to go in there. They're not. They've stated that they will not let Iran have nuclear weapons. And uh, so Israel, look for over the next couple of weeks, Israel or something, something happened. There will be mysterious explosions in Israel, something like that. Uh, sorry, in in Iran, uh, which will set back, delay Iran's. Uh, um, uh, uh, stockpiling of nuclear weapons and march toward the nuclear weapon. Uh, and uh, what's it going to be? Is it going to be an overt, overt attack? There's going to be something significant uh, where Israel goes in there, or maybe Israel can't go in there, and they acquire a nuclear weapon, and this causes Israel to believe that they have to go now uh, into uh, Syria uh, because maybe Iran has moved some uh, 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 nuclear uh, material or uh, or weapons into Syria, and then uh, Isaiah 17, destruction of Damascus, is fulfilled. So, a lot of things are, are kind of lining up, and uh, it's it's kind of lining up as we would expect as we get close to the 70 period. Does it start this fall? I don't know. Does it start in the springtime next year? Maybe. Maybe it starts next fall, but uh, certainly... Um, on, uh, looking at the dates, understanding the dates, and uh, many other bl others believe as well that uh, 2028 uh, appears to be uh, have good evidence uh, for uh, the end of our time on this earth, and and so you come off that seven years, uh, the the tribulation and the great tribulation, and you end up basically with uh, fall period 2021. So uh, is it exactly on? I don't know. Um, may not be. Uh, but certainly things around the world are ramping up and uh, you need to be prepared. Make sure your heart is right with the Lord. That's the biggest thing. Uh, prepare. Um, just like Joseph uh, prepared for seven uh, bad years by using the seven good years prior to it that he had in the dream. Uh, in Egypt, he stored up uh, food uh, and uh, so he could feed the nation of Egypt and nations surrounding Egypt. So we should be wise and prepare. Uh, for uh, what uh, will be basically for us uh, three and a half bad years, if you will. So half the time, um, but we've had uh, good years all leading up to this where uh, food was relatively easy to access, relatively affordable, um, and that's the time you needed to be. Even, even right now, uh, things are still awesome. Everything is awesome right now, you know, from most people's points of view, um, uh, as there's a... Um, a, a low period uh, in, uh, of course, the uh, the uh, the sickness going around, uh, where you can go out. There's a, a lessening of restrictions, and uh, so now is the time to get prepared uh, uh, physically uh, as well as uh, uh, spiritually and mentally. Uh, war will be coming. An antichrist figure 
um, the, uh, the the Jewish rabbis believe the uh, Messiah is going to be revealed, which to me uh, sounds like uh, maybe the Antichrist uh, uh, could be coming up next, and I think he is coming up next um, to kick off that seven-year period and to uh, open a temple. Um, there's more news about the uh, red heifer. Um, they, they have red heifers on the go, uh, and, and so they're all ready for the temple sacrifices uh, to start up. So any time now. And then we have this idea of a, a timeline on Iran. Uh, will there be a massive uh, a strike, a significant strike? Maybe not a fallout war, but something worrying enough that a world leader will come and say, peace, peace, let's stop this now before it gets any worse. We're going to give Israel the temple and maybe give the Palestinians a state or whatever um, to create peace. And uh, then we'll be truly, we will truly be in uh, the seven-year um, a tribulation, the first three and a half years of tribulation, and then the great tribulation, the wrath of God, and at the midpoint of that is the rapture and uh, and uh, the revealing of the Antichrist. So I think we will know who the Antichrist is when he comes into power at the beginning of the seven-year period. Christians will look at this guy and say, huh, does he measure up to what the Bible uh, speaks about and describes as the Antichrist? So I think Christians will have some idea, but he will not be revealed to the population of the world until that three and a half years, uh, and by that point, it's going to be too late uh, for them. Thanks for watching. I'll leave there. We'll see you in the next video.